In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily embed Google reviews on your WordPress website in fast and responsive feeds like this. To do that, I'll be using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click add new plugin. Next, at the top, click upload plugin and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro. Just like this and click install now. Then click install now. Once installed, click activate plugin. There we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated on our website. Now on the left hand side, you'll notice Reviews Feed. Go ahead and click on that. And at the top here, enter the license for Reviews Feed Pro from your Smash Balloon account. Paste it here like this and click activate. Now our license key has been activated and we can begin creating our Google Reviews Feed. To get started, click on Add New. And for our first step, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click Add Source. And on this page, you can see all the different sources you can add with Reviews Feed Pro. You can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. Since we want to embed reviews from Google, let's select Google and click Next. And on step number two, we'll have to enter a Google API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, paste it here like this and click Next. And finally, for step number three, we'll have to enter our place ID. To find the place ID for your business, use this link here. That will take you to Google's place IDs page. If you scroll down, you'll find this tool here that will help you find your place ID. For this video, I'm going to display reviews from Angelina Bakery in New York City. Inside the search bar at the top, enter the name of your business or location like this. And this is the one we want to use in this video. And you can see instantly that it shows us the place ID for that location. We can now copy that. And back inside the plugin, you can paste it here and click finish. And now you should see that location added as a source and it's already selected for us. So we can click next. And this brings us to the last step of creating our Google reviews feed, selecting a template. These templates allow us to create beautiful reviews feeds without needing any design skills. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, single review, showcase carousel, carousel, and grid carousel. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the carousel template and click next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Google reviews feed. This feed is currently showing reviews from the location we added as a source. This is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress webpage. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, go into layout. You can see that inside we have three different layouts we can select from. The one we've already got selected is the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through your reviews by clicking on the buttons like this. Above that, we had the masonry layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns and in the original sizes. And finally, at the top, we have the list layout, which displays your reviews in a single column list. I'm going to stick with the carousel layout. And if you look below, you can also choose how many reviews you want to display on your feed in desktop, tablet, and mobile. To change this, you can simply enter the number of reviews you want to display. For example, I'm going to change it to three. And you can see instantly that it's now only showing three reviews. The other pages of reviews inside this carousel have now disappeared, indicating that there are only three reviews. I'm going to change that back to nine. And below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display inside your feed. Currently, we have three columns inside our feed on desktop. But if you want to change that, you can simply enter the number of columns you want to display. For example, if I wanted two columns, you can see an instant preview on the right hand side. I'll change that back to three. And right at the bottom, you can also choose to enable or hide any of the elements inside this feed, such as the navigation arrows on the left and right hand sides, the pagination dots at the bottom. And if we wanted to hide them, we can simply deselect it like this and they'll be hidden on our feed. I'm going to bring that back. And our last option is to enable autoplay. If I enable it, you'll notice that reviews on our feed are automatically swiping through like this. But for this tutorial, I'm going to disable it. And if you're happy with the layout of your reviews feed, go click save on the top right corner. Next, if you wanted to modify how each individual review is displayed inside the feed, on the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Reviews. Then go into Edit Individual Elements. Inside, you'll see all the different elements inside the reviews, such as the author and date, rating, review paragraph, and images or videos if they're available. All of these elements are individually customizable. You can also choose how they're arranged inside each review. For example, at the top, we currently have the author and date, but let's say if you wanted to move that below the rating here. All you have to do is click and drag it underneath the rating. And you can see right away that the author and date is now below the rating stars. You could even move it further and put it right at the bottom if you'd like to as well, just like this. And if you wanted to disable any of these elements, all you have to do is uncheck it on the left hand side like this. You can see now that the author and date are hidden inside all of the reviews. I'm going to bring that back and I'm also going to move that right to the top as well. With these options, you can customize your review speed to look exactly how you want to. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want control to moderate the reviews inside your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Right at the top, you'll see options to add filters based on star rating. Currently, I've set it to only display reviews that contain four or five star ratings. 
You can customize this however you'd like to show any kind of reviews you want to display. Underneath that, you can also add words as filters to hide or show reviews containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also filter reviews based on their character count. You can enter minimum or maximum character accounts, allowing you to display long in-depth reviews or bite-sized reviews if you'd like to. And if we go back into the settings tab and click on moderation, and then if you enable moderation mode, you have additional options to moderate the reviews inside your feed. With the allow list, all your Google reviews will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you choose to manually display like this. Alternatively, if you use the block list, all of your reviews will be displayed by default, apart from the ones you choose to manually hide like this. With these options, you have complete control over the reviews you display inside your feed. And if you make any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Google reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do that, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now on your page, you have two different options to embed your feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that you just copied over here. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated reviews feed block like this. You can see now that the feed has been added to your page, so we can click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, we have our brand new Google reviews feed. This feed is currently displaying reviews from the location we added as a source, which is Angelina Bakery, and it's in the carousel template, which we selected. And if site visitors wanted to read more reviews on your feed, all they have to do is swipe through the carousel like this. Inside each review, you'll find the author and profile picture, the rating stars, the review text, and on the right-hand side, you also have a Google icon indicating that the review is from Google. At the top of your feed, you also have an average star rating and the total number of reviews available for that source. But the best part is on the right-hand side, you also have a write a review button. If site visitors click on that, it will open up that location inside Google with a pop-up asking you to leave a review. This makes it super easy for your site visitors to leave a positive review for your business directly through your website. But if you're wondering if you can embed your Google reviews inside the sidebar or footer of your website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've just created a second reviews feed for the footer of our website. To embed this inside the footer, go click on embed once again, copy your shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click add to a widget. This will take you into the WordPress widgets menu. And to embed our Google reviews inside the footer, we have the same two options as before. We can either use our reviews feed block or paste the shortcode that we just copied earlier like this. And once that's done, we can click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are now on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, we have that reviews feed we created earlier. And if I scroll down now to the footer, we have our second reviews feed that we just embedded. And this one is just as fast and responsive as the first one, and site visitors can easily swipe through them like this. So you now know how to embed a Google reviews feed on your WordPress web page and on the footer as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.